Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to continue taking the Kyosho Phaser Mark II brushless. And today we're going to be installing a new servo. As you can see in the previous video, we've already mounted the motor, ESC, and the receiver. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link right here. You'll also notice I soldered a Dean connector onto the ESC. I've connected to my batteries, so I have power now. And before I start it, I also took the time to bind my GT3B transmitter with this receiver. And you should do the same before you get started. In the first video, I mentioned I was going to try to use this dynamite metal servo horn. But it turns out when it's on the servo, it's going to be taller than the original. And I want to keep the geometry just the same. So first thing we're going to do is remove the existing servo horn from the servo. I'm not going to need this screw anymore because it doesn't fit onto the new servo. Okay, next we're going to power up the electronics and it's very straightforward. Channel one is going to be the servo. And channel two is going to be the ESC. Make sure you plug it in correctly. And if you notice, I've also put something under the car just in case when I turn on the car, the motor spins and your car won't fly off the table. Next, I'm gonna make sure the steering trim on my transmitter is at zero. So there it is. So now when I power on the car, the servo should be at zero. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Now I can Put the servo horn on and it's going to be on this side with the servo horn going up just like that if you have a 25 tooth servo it's going to be just a little bit off center all right the screws that mount the servo back on the mount are these two button heads so the servo is going to sit like this. Make sure it's nice and tight. Now we're going to drop this in here. And I think I'm going to be able to tuck the wire like this to go around just like that. And now we need to flip the car over and put two screws on the bottom. Okay. And then the last step is to snap this arm onto the ball stud right there. Just like that. Okay, now I need to do something with this extra wire before I put the other cover pieces on. Okay, all I did was tie up the servo wire and tucked it next to the ESC. You know what I forgot to do? Put the receiver wire into the tube. So let me do that right now. Now I'm going to tape down the on off switch with this double sided tape that came with the ESC. Looks neat. Let's cons continue with the other pieces. We put all these pieces back together, just like when we started. All right, we're done with today's video. We mounted the servo and put all the cover pieces back together. In the next video, we're going to replace the dampers with this set of Yeah Racing Big Board dampers. So thanks for watching this video. If you got anything out of it, please drop a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.